my beloved love, and that is unconditional living really at its finest. That is us knowing how to unconditionally just be where we are, to unconditionally love and accept ourselves and this point that we're at in the moment. And through that self-unconditional love, through that total acceptance and embracing of the present moment and of ourselves where we are, focusing as much energy as we can not towards the external but towards the internal journey, towards that expansion that is taking place within us. Again, trusting that whenever we expand and hold a new vision within, the external reality will begin to physically match and mirror and attract the details of that internal expansion. But for many of us, this is a very backwards way of thinking and being. It is very opposite of how we were trained and taught, which is also why it takes a bit of training, a bit of unraveling, to really begin to practice this new way of being consistently. In addition to this, there are typically many around us living very unconsciously, who will not understand this process of unconditionally loving and accepting ourselves, who will not understand that we are working to actually expand ourselves emotionally, energetically, internally, to manifest our physical reality, rather than pushing externally with force or control. And our souls emit a frequency that then, by the law of attraction, draws to it, in the closest way, those that are most similar to it. That is also why, for those of you who are incarnated simultaneously with a physical twin flame, meaning someone who happens to share your identical core soul frequency because of the law of attraction that draws like things together. Of course, in the case of a twin flame, someone who is so much the same as you energetically, you feel a very intense pulling together between the two of you. Very often, as you are both incarnated and even when one or the other happens to be disincarnate, is not incarnated at this time, there is still this constant connection, this constant pulling together of the two souls because of their similarity or really their sameness in frequency. Now I have no idea why that particular piece of information was coming up in this reading video. It may be that for many of you tuned into this particular reading, you are possibly dealing with a very high vibrational soulmate or a twin flame connection. If so, hopefully, I can provide some sense of clarity or guidance. But know that throughout the reading, the true clarity and the true guidance are actually coming from within you. You are the powerful one. You are the one that holds all of the keys, all of the wisdom, all of the intuition for your own life path. And it is my goal through these readings to connect you with that intuitive voice within yourself. So, whatever feels aligned and resonant for you, feel free to take with you. Anything that does not feel aligned for you, feel free to leave here in the video. Now, if you would like me to pick up on your energy in a stronger way, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. From Divine Muscular Type Yes, if you believe.